housing the world's largest hydroelectric dam and also being one of three countries to have sent astronauts into space. China has made some of the most impressive strides in science and technology, becoming famous for numerous innovative mega-projects. But not all Chinese efforts yield success. Some fail woefully and amount to billions of dollars in regrettable losses. In this video, we reveal what lies on the flip side of China's great innovations, exploring the ruins of seven failed Chinese megaprojects. At number 7, Golden Finance 117. Golden Finance 117, also known as the China 117 Tower, was designed to be the tallest building in China and the third tallest in the world, with a height of 597 meters and a daring 128 floors. Erected in the city of Tianjin and modeled after a walking stick with a diamond-shaped crown at the top, the project was expected to cost about $3 billion and serve as a large hub for offices, hotels, and other commercial spaces. Construction of the China 117 Tower began in 2008 and was scheduled to be completed in 2014, but it slowed down multiple times due to the global economic crisis, the Chinese stock market crash, and other financial setbacks encountered during its construction. The building was topped out in 2015, but construction was halted in 2016, leaving the tower unfinished and unoccupied to date. As of today, the Golden Finance 117 is certified by Guinness World Records as the world's tallest unoccupied building. Entering further into unoccupied territories, at number 6, Tianducheng, also known as Sky City, Tianducheng was built to be a Chinese replica of Paris, the capital of France, recreating most of its iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower, the Champs-Élysées, and the Luxembourg Gardens. This estate project was expected to accommodate over 10,000 residents and also attract a swarm of tourists from within and outside China who may consider a trip to the Sky City in Hangzhou, eastern China, a viable replacement for the real deal in Paris, France. Construction of Sky City kicked off in 2007 amidst much buzz with the press and would later be completed in 2013. However, this $30 billion Sky City failed to live up to expectations, only attracting a handful of occupants since its opening, not nearly enough to fill 20% of its capacity. The project was widely criticized by both French and Chinese media, with outlets dubbing it an inauthentic, poor quality copycat. Today, Tianducheng stands only inhabited by a few businesses, residents, and tourists compared to what was expected of it. But this isn't China's only ghost town. At number 5, Yujiapu. Yujiapu was designed to be China's version of Manhattan, the famous financial center of New York City in the United States. Yujiapu, a financial district in Tianjin, it was expected to cost a whopping 50 billion US dollars and cover an area of 3.86 square kilometers. This project was forecasted to become the largest and most advanced financial district in the world, billed to house over a hundred skyscrapers, including the 1,975 feet tall Golden Finance 117, which we discussed earlier in this video. With a high-speed rail station, a state-of-the-art subway line, and a ferry terminal to connect it with Beijing and other important cities in China. Among the features of this futuristic financial district, no one would expect it to be a ghost town today. Standing mostly deserted, with buildings left unfinished and only a few occupied or operational, this is regarded as one of China's most unrealistic investments, criticized as overambitious and wasteful. But traveling even further away from realism, at number 4, the Transit Elevated Bus. The Transit Elevated Bus, otherwise called TEB, was proposed as a futuristic transport means to solve traffic congestion and pollution in China's biggest cities. This would involve a bus that could straddle above the road traffic, allowing cars to pass under it, and would run along a fixed route on rails or white lines transporting more than a thousand passengers at a time. While the project seemed novel at first glance, flaunted as having many advantages like high speed, low cost, and environmental friendliness, 
It was soon reported to have emerged as not being safe, legal, or even possible to execute effectively. The TEB was first unveiled at the Beijing International High Tech Expo in 2010, and then again in 2016, when a prototype of the bus was tested in Qin Huangdao, a city in northern China, attracting a lot of media attention and public curiosity. However, it was scrapped in 2017, as the 32 people involved with it were arrested on charges of using the TEB as cover to run an investment fraud scheme, sinking China's innovative reputation deeper in the mud. Speaking of sinking, at number 3, the Chinese South Sea Military Base. In 2000, China began building a series of artificial islands that would be the location for its military base in the South China Sea. These bases, equipped with airstrips, radars, missiles, and other military facilities, stand on resource-rich regions like the Mischief Reef, Subi Reef, and Fiery Cross, whose ownership has been a matter of dispute between several Southeast Asian countries, with China claiming most of South China Sea as its sovereign territory. While this was intended to assert China's control over the area, nature, however, refused to get the memo, as these military bases have been reported to be gradually sinking. The islands are built on coral reefs that are easily damaged by dredging, sand filling, and construction activities making them vulnerable to the effects of climate change, such as rising sea levels, storms, and typhoons. Factors like erosion, subsidence, flooding, and the fragile and unstable nature of the artificial islands are also contributing to turning these bases into modern-day Atlantis. Number 2. Lotus Riverside, Shanghai in 2009, Lotus Riverside, a $78 million residential complex was completed in Shanghai, the largest and most populous city in China. This project was built to offer affordable, high-quality housing options for middle-class families in China and was made of 11 apartment buildings, with 13 floors each. However, the Lotus Riverside would become infamous when one of its buildings collapsed on its side killing a worker and leaving several others injured shortly after its completion in 2009, four years after its construction began. This, rather tragic, will be later determined to be caused by a design flaw in the building's foundation, which was weakened by the excavation of an underground garage and the piling of soil on one side of the building. These revelations would lead to the arrest of six people who spent three to five years in jail, while the Lotus Riverside was suspended now serving as a reminder of the cost of reckless construction. Lastly, at number 1, Coca Coco Dam in Sinclair. Moving out from the country's borders, let's examine another failed Chinese mega project, Coca Coco, a hydroelectric dam built in the East African country of Ethiopia. Funded and built in Sinclair by China, the $4 billion dam was part of the Asian country's Belt and Road Initiative a global infrastructure and development strategy that aims to connect China with the rest of the world. With construction beginning in 2011, the project was forecasted to generate 6,000 megawatts of electricity, making it the largest dam in Africa and the seventh largest in the world, which would be later completed in 2017. However, this project was met with many challenges. In December 2018, 7,648 cracks were identified in the generator hall and more assessments are being done to determine the full extent of their impact. Despite all of this, China's failure with this project goes beyond physical damage. The dam was intended to boost Ethiopia's local economy, provide jobs, and raise the standard of living for residents of the country but instead instigated political frictions and a military conflict between Ethiopia and Egypt, who accused each other of violating their rights and interests over the Nile River. The project may have been completed, but is still subject to negotiations and political disputes regarding its filling and operation. The Coca Coco Dam is criticized for its adverse effects on the Nile River, a primary source of water and life for millions in Ethiopia and other countries like Sudan and Egypt, also as being a source of instability among East African countries, with China coming under fire for its role in its development. China's need to greedily speed run through developing mega projects has resulted in failures worth too much to be ignored over the years. 
These mistakes should serve as lessons to China as well as other countries to be more thoughtful with future projects. And that's a wrap on today's video. Which of these projects surprised you the most? Which is the most impressive or disappointing? Let us know in the comments. And also like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.